What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play. Oh, we are so close to our first free awakening. Now, you guys know I have the 100 here. I did the video showing how to transfer and gift stuff. Probably not going to use that, at least not just yet. We're going to focus on getting our first free one. We need 90 more points. That should happen tomorrow because there's nothing we can grind like Trial of Champion or Interdimensional Arena right now. So, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna chill. And then we can honestly grind a ton of points out in Interdimensional Arena as soon as the new season starts. But until then... We're going to wait. There's a couple things we need to get done. One of them being uh, right here, our wall deck. So our wall deck is still very strong. I think he's going to go. You know what? We have something we can do. And I just messed with the screen. Whoops. Hopefully that didn't shrink the screen too much. Uh, what we're going to do is go on over and do our one core pull. Because maybe we get super lucky or we get a Shia or a Drake. Either way, this has been our lucky design lately. Iron Bambi, not very lucky. Uh, we are buying them daily, though, even with, like, all the gem events coming up because we really want to focus on getting our first V4 hero as well as our first Transcendence hero. The V4, so we can open up Cloud Island and get a huge boost in power. Uh, but let's jump on over here to Guild Settlement. We've been needing to do this one for a while. I believe now that he's V3, he could be strong enough. Let's actually check this out. Yep, V3 is exactly what we needed to advance that, so that's cool. We got the uh, the Abyss one going up further. We've already finished Ranger since we had three Rangers. Shadow is going to be tough if we don't upgrade the Ticks, but I think that's probably the plan. And then we just have to figure out where to put our guild tech next. Probably Warrior for Garuda. I know we already invested some in Mage. We could always refund that. We can always refund this too for free and reallocate our points in a more better way. Uh, but okay, so that's done. We have our Ignis. So let's see if we can gear up our Ignis. Give her energy. Even you. Give you energy too. Why not? It might help. Um, supporting heroes is one thing this faction doesn't have is good supporting heroes. We could grab another Ignis out. I don't know if it's going to be much of a help to be honest. I don't think it would be. Probably just using dummy heroes in the front row are going to help. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. We did do a couple upgrades. Maybe we have one more point here. We do. Another attack point. We're getting oh so close, <laughs> but still so far away. Our main goal today is going to be getting this wall deck to clear Sealand 24. And I think it's going to be pretty simple, honestly. I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue to get cleared out. Getting two actives in a row feels really good. I'm just wondering if we're going to have the damage for it, honestly. We might have to go with a different artifact, but the crown is just so strong. Healing seems okay, especially once we got Blood Frenzy up. I don't think shared... I think maybe what we should do is use Attribute Reduction Purify. I feel like that'll be better because we have two Ignis. Both of them are going to give us protection from CC. Shared Fate doesn't seem that necessary. If anything, I feel like Attribute Reduction Purify might be the better route to go with him because we don't have to worry about the stuns and things like that because of the two Ignis we have, both of them giving very big buffs to his control immunity. Uh, and this way, we should not have to deal with those adverse effects of the debuffs. And I think that'll make this even easier. Ooh, we actually proc. That's kind of sketchy. <laughs> Wow, maybe we could try, like, Resilience for additional healing at the end of every round. That could be cool, too. Might be something good. It's really just the actives. The actives are what we have to worry about. The Ignis heals are pretty solid. On to 19. Like I said, I think this might be very, very easy for us to do. Not too bad. Ooh, okay, we got rid of that attribute reduction, which means we get good healing. Because I think it's an attack reduction. It's either attack or crit. I don't. I, I feel like that's just a straight up attack reduction debuff. So getting rid of that does mean a lot. It's gonna mean we don't get too risky with our deaths here. Oh my goodness! It was actually good. All three of them were alive because it helped us heal back up a little bit, and we got the victory here at 19. Again, 
this is so much easier than like any other hero I've used. I mean, the crown is cool, but I feel like like a king of demons or something would have been fine as well. Ooh, proccing in round two does not sound good. We might be lacking damage right now, although the buff with ooh ooh. When he could be difficult, this feels like a significant ramp up in um, difficulty here. Yeah, that proccing in round one is not good. We need to save that proc for much later. Hmm. That's going to be an issue because we need to save that proc. What can we change on him? Uh, we could go with a better stone. We could re-roll gear. We could go a little tankier just to see how it works out. Like, see if we don't proc, maybe? That could be kind of interesting. We're kind of stuck with our void imprinting, how we have him imprinted. We, it might have been better maybe splitting some HP and attack nodes. If only Waldeck had a skin, geez. Okay, going for the HP nodes was a significant boost in survivability. We might not even need to go with two of them. We might just go with one of them. We got to start killing targets off, though. That's the big issue here is we're not having damage. And then we have no way to disrupt their lineup. Maybe we need something like a cruise on this team, but I mean, we don't have a cruise. We just don't have a cruise. We do actually have a lot of food I need to make. There's really nothing in this faction that helps CC. That's one thing that's a big struggle compared to other factions is heroes really lack a way to CC your enemies when it comes to the Abyss faction. Like, significantly. Most of them are just dealing, like, bonus damage. Ooh. Rouge. 35% chance to stun them. Do we have any of you? Of course not. <laughs> Wait, no, we got one of them. Hold on, hold on. We do have one. Maybe Rose would be pretty helpful. Give them energy. Because it hits frontline enemies, so it's two targets. It's kind of like an ice troll. Give you some gear and some energy. Why not? Can we maybe get a couple more of you? This is a game. Hold on. I need to do this smart. Before I just do something stupid and like destroy my bag space. Let's try to do this a little bit smart. Um, let's go to our... Oh, yeah. We don't need to save you guys anymore. You guys can actually be used for food now. None of you need to be saved. We already got their, our ceiling done. Let's do this. Let's get four of every hero. Or four three stars in every faction that can be used for food and then we'll take a bunch of heroes out of our four star shards and see if we get a little bit lucky and then let's go to our regular shards here pull a ton out of course we didn't hit any of them uh we are gonna have to lock you down though because i do not want to accidentally feed you off let's see if we can do just like a couple things of fusions oh we didn't even have enough to like build a hero are you kidding me Good lord. I think Fortress is going to be our next 10 star hero. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just go with one. Let's see if one stun can help us survive just a little bit longer here with the Rouge. I'm going to put you in the back. I think you go first anyway, right? Yeah, he does get to go first. It's just going to be RNG on whether the stun goes off. Uh, maybe it's better to leave. No, nah, I don't think anybody in the back row is going to make a difference. Ooh, can we, can we like pinpoint that one hero right over here? No, no, we can't hit the target. They're just going to heal back up. No, there's so much healing. We need to weaken and get rid of enemies here. That's good. Four hits is not bad. We can survive four. It's just when there's five enemies, that's when we come into the big issue. <sighs> oh, we have to find a way to survive to the later rounds here. Cause if we can get a stun here too, and like offset when all the actives comes in, that would be huge, but it's only a 35% chance. It's gonna be a very low chance for us to be successful there. I feel like maybe we can go back to one attack node as well. I don't think we need both. Let's snipe this priest down here. Not quite. Again, proccing in round five feels really bad. Cause now we got two rounds to kill them. And the boss is just going to nuke us, right? 
Yeah, the boss is so close. It is so close. If we can get, like, even just one stun from the Roge, that would be amazing. Oh, he's not stunning at all. I'm reading that effect right, right? <laughs> We're so close. I think we might try one attack note on the last attempt. This is so, so close. Yeah, it's just, I don't think we can survive that right there. I think no matter what, we're going to proc. Can you pick you off? Like, actually just hit the boss with every active. Well, I mean, that does give us more health. But I think he just one-shots us anyway. Well, he doesn't just one-shot us. I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to go one attack node, one HP node. I want to go resilience too. This could be a mistake switching this much up on our last attempt, but you know, you guys know me. I like trying things out. Ooh, hitting the boss is good and bad. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's not good. We procked in round two. That is severely bad. We do need the double. Yeah, we do need the double. I'm going to do a couple attempts. I know this isn't like optimal, but while we're on the train of thought, I want to do a couple things. I think I just want to keep it just like this. Because it did seem like it would work. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy five attempts. Which is not very optimal. But I want to get it done to show you guys it today if possible. Oh, the double. Wait. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was weird. Um, So we got a double stun off. Which then meant we were stunned. That's really weird. Um, we haven't procced yet, though, have we? There we go. We procced in six. That's still a little too early. That was interesting line of play, though. That was a very interesting line of play. The stuns really do change it up, huh? That's perfect. One stun, which means it should alternate one of the actives coming in of damage. That makes a big difference with the amount of healing and possibly procking. Oh, we still procking that round. That feels bad. They just keep healing these warriors up. This is horrible. Big damage on the boss. That's kind of good. No, not really. Maybe the stun is just messing it up and we need to go without the stun. Because no matter what, we get a full HP bar. I guess it is this round, though, that struggles because we're at low HP. Big damage right here. All right, we killed a priest off. That's good. Full HP. We got to survive. Full HP again. We took a target out, and they're alternating actives. This could be the one if we ever had a chance. Right here. Big active. Oh, we hit the wrong target. No. Oh, we needed to hit the boss with the big burst damage. This is totally doable with this lineup. That's good. They are all synced up with actives, though, which means this round we will proc. There's no way getting around that at this point. Yeah, it's just not hitting the boss enough with those actives is, I think, the biggest issue here. We really got to hit the boss because that's the only way we're going to get that extra damage. We don't need just the passive bleed to hit him. We need, like, we need him to get hit, like, every round. But we also need to pick off the priest. It's a really weird situation here. Uh, actives are alternating, though, so that's really good for us. We're not going to proc now until round five still. Darn it. Not quite adding up the way we need it to. This is an interesting line. But again, the boss has way too much energy. We're not going to have... Yeah, the boss just has way too much energy. Last one, last one. Let's do one more. One more. You guys know the rule. Always one more. Literally, I think it's literally... <laughs> it's just coming down to the RNG of where his actives are hitting. Okay, we have... Ooh, wait. We killed you off real early. Same with you. You're going to die in a round. Big active to heal up for the big boss active. That's really good. Oh, my God. This could be it. Hit the boss. Hit the boss. No, wrong target. 
Uh oh, we might. Yeah, we're dead here. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> okay, one more. I swear, just one more. I one more. We have a lot of gems right now. This is worth it if we can get it done and move forward. One stun. I like that. That alternates the actives up. Big active on a priest. Yes. Okay. I'll take that. Priest will die. So hit the boss right here. Yes. Hitting the boss is good. Oh, wait. It's, it's not dead. We need another active to kill something. Uh oh. Okay. This is not optimal. <laughs> this is not optimal at all. <laughs> okay. One more. One more. One more. Oh, God. I'm just, this is just turning into a regular free to play account now with stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a stun off, which we're hitting the priest is good. Ah, that proc is killing me. I wonder if we need to go with a different stone. Like a tankier stone or something. This is a very weird line of play here. Yeah. All right, last one. Very, very last one. No more. We'll call it after this. It's definitely doable, and that's the whole point we're trying to get at here, is it is doable. We just got to do enough attempts, and we're going to try to do them free and not waste gems like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Hitting the warriors in the front does not look like a good plan to me. They're just going to get healed all back up, and we can't have them all alive because we can't take that many actives in a single round. It's just not possible. It's way too much damage, so oh, we're so, so close. So close. Let me see who we get from these shards. I think we have enough. Yep, one more. We're at capacity. Uh-oh. I got to do some stuff. So, <sighs> not quite there. But in the Soul Temple, we are... Th Wait a minute. We're 30 points away. Yeah, that's definitely happening tomorrow. I guess it's because I did so many attempts in Sealand because... Oh, if we did three more attempts, we would be there. Nah, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm not going to be greedy because I want to use it on Eloise anyway, not wall deck. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.